has spent almost $900 million on training the Ukrainian military, which includes the infamous neo-Nazi Azov Battalion. That's despite earlier pledges by Canada's defense minister that the country would not provide any support to the regiment, which he described as a small group of, quote, rotten apples. Now, about 2,000 members of the Ukrainian National Guard participated in the training as part of Ottawa's bid to help Kyiv strengthen its military. Photos posted by Ukraine's military on social media clearly show some soldiers wearing Azov battalion patches provided as they participate in the training with Canadian servicemen. But Ottawa has been distancing itself from the claims with the Defence Ministry saying it had been Ukraine's responsibility to conduct checks of the soldiers who would participate. The Canadian Armed Forces have never given any training whatsoever to members of the Azov Battalion. Servicemen participating in Operation Unifier have always been ordered not to train with members of the Azov Battalion and not to have any contact with them. Anti-war activist Ken Stone says Canada is deliberately turning a blind eye to certain aspects of what's happening in Ukraine. They had a policy of don't ask and don't tell. Since 2014, when the Canadian government uh, cooperated and collaborated to overthrow the democratically elected government of Ukraine and bring in a, a coup government, which was riddled with Nazis, they, the Canadian government has been creating a facade over this uh, government, trying to make it appear it's a democratic government. They don't tell Canadians about the uh, the war on the Donbass, and they don't tell them about the uh, the uh, neo Nazis that are in the militia and in the security services. They are very much anti Russian, uh, and the Canadian government is very much anti Russian. So they've created a false narrative for eight years, and they're sticking to it.